the video, we will discuss the corner for quadratic divisor which be separated into two sections. Yeah? The first one, A, is x square minus 2x minus 3. And we can see that it can be factorized, become x minus 3 and x plus 1. For the B part, divisor that cannot be factorized. And we can define here that the A value is 1, B value is 2, and C value is 4. In here, we will find the quotient and the remainder of the division. So we'll do as usual, using the Horner, we will list all of the coefficient for x to the power of 4, x cubed, and then x squared, x to the power of 1, and x to the power of 0. Don't forget that we have the x cubed, which is 0, and then we have x squared coefficient minus 3, and then we have 2 and negative 1. Now, we can choose which zeros of divisor that go first, if I go with 3, doesn't matter, or if you choose minus 1 first, it's still okay. So we will do it as usual. We divide it one by one. So this is my first uh, result for the divisor x minus 3. So this is the quotient and the remainder, which is 59. So we will continue with the next divisor, which is negative 1. As usual, we will do it like this. And we have the second remainder, which is 16. So I will label it first. This is my first remainder, and this is my second remainder. Please be noticed that if it is divided by a second degree or a quadratic divisor, we are expecting the remainder in the form of ax plus b or a linear. So, to reform the remainder for this division, let's see first what happened in the two stages of division. When you have fx and it is divided by the first divisor x, multiply with the quotient and leave remainder r, then you have the first quotient which is shown here. Next, you will divide again the quotient by the second divisor and it can be substituted become d2x and it will have the second quotient x which is can be seen here and it will have the second remainder. This is the first one. Then if you multiply, you will see it will be d1x times d2x times q2x and then uh, I forget the r1 here and then d1x multiplied with r2 become d1x times r2 plus r1 so if you see here the formation will be still d1 d2 and it will leave the last quotient q2 and then it will have a remainder which is d1x times r2 plus r1 so in here, uh, my d1x is x minus 3. This is my d1. And then uh, the r2 is 16. So to have the x plus b, it will be x minus 3 multiply with 16, add it with r1, which is 59. So we can calculate this is 16x minus 48 plus 59 or 16x plus 11 so this is my remainder for the quotient the quotient which is the last quotient is since it is divided by two degree so we will have the quotient which degree two as well it will be x square and then the coefficient is two for x and then we have the constant 4 there. So now uh, let's continue with how to solve the divisor which cannot be factorized. So we still list it the same way. We have x to the power of 4, x cubed, x square, x and x to the power of 0. And we have the coefficient is 1, 0, minus 3, 2 and minus 1. What different is here, we will do the two stages together what we have for the zeros will be 
a formula for the first year we have minus b over a so for the first zero we'll substitute it with minus two and for the second zeros instead of the second zeros we will put the c over minus c over a so in here we have minus four so now for the calculation uh it will be like this yeah okay for the first step what we need to do is put the sign here so we will not put any number at the place and also here let's see for the first one we can put down one as usual and then we multiply one with minus two and put it here for one with minus four we will put it uh, at the right side so here we have the minus four and now we add zero and minus two we have minus two now we multiply it again minus two with minus two is four and then minus two with minus four will be eight now we can add this all together minus three four and minus four we have minus three and then now we calculate it again minus three with minus two is six and then minus three with minus four it's 12. Now uh, we finish. This section will be the remainder. So we add it all. It will be 2 plus 6, it is 8. 8 plus 8, it is 16. And minus 1 with 12 is 11. So that here uh, we can conclude that the quotient is the degree 2 with the coefficient of x square. Square is 1, and then minus 2x and minus 3. And then the remainder will be. 16x plus 11.